We have captured video and still photography from more than 20 visits to the Veve Arena. During construction, during the show period, during shows, and during deconstruction. A true experience of the rise and fall. But what is missing is movement of the ramp of the main central LED stage and the raising of the stairways. So we constructed a working 1 to 30 scale model so that these movements can be integrated with our original photography. Let us get familiar with the arena and to locate those parts being modeled. The central stage has an 800 square meter LED floor. That is huge and impressive. Within the LED floor is a 20 meter times 4 meter ramp, thus allowing performers to enter from below stage level. Surrounding the center stage are four stairways. Each stairway connects with an upper stage. Stairways of the north and south ends of the arena are raising. Pneumatic pistons do the raising work in the original. These are reproduced to scale. They do support and guide the stairway sections, but do not provide the lifting force in the scale model. The two side stairways are fixed. Behind each of these four upper stages is a large five-segment LED video screen. Our scale working model focuses on two parts of the arena. Firstly, the central stage with its LED floor and ramp. And secondly, the raising stairway. Some of the very first parts to be positioned at both north and south ends of the arena were these four concrete blocks. They are quite large. They are each about 3 meters long and 75 centimeters high. Their positioning is absolutely critical because this whole raising stairway has to be raised and lowered with high precision and it is quite a heavy structure. So these blocks were laid, both in reality and on this part of the model, as the first items so that everything else could be constructed around them. What goes onto these blocks are the girder frames, which support the stairway and hold it in position as it raises and lowers. Between these two supporting structures is another ramp. On this south end, I have called it the down ramp because vehicles typically drove down it to exit the arena. However, it is also an input for large groups of performers needing to assemble here in various formations and then to move out under the raised stairway to enter the main stage of the arena. So let's position the down ramp onto our model and also place the final section of the main stage which shows they are connected. The main stage ramp part of the model was the first to be created. It's raising and lowering movement integrated into videos. Construction of the ramp includes three items. There is a below ground ramp pit to allow the supporting girders to descend. The ramp girder structure itself for strength and stability. And thirdly, the raising and lowering mechanism. The original operates with pistons and guides at three places along the structure. Our model is raised from the ramp end using a dual pulley reduction system operated by a single motorized cord drum located within the ramp pit.
On either side of the down ramp is one of the stairway supporting structures. There are clearly four of these in the arena, two at the south end and two at the north end. Design of the arena took advantage of the land sloping down towards the beach and the lake, which means the stage is considerably higher above ground at this south end, providing headroom for below stage entry to the main stage ramp. Consequently, the stairway supports are higher at the south end. They have three sections. We have modelled the south in all its extra complexity, including impressive below stage ramp entry. The north end is very close to the ground, thus the exit ramp is very short and the stairway support has only two sections, but it serves an identical function. Then we will add to the model two sections of what is called the charpente, a metal frame upon which is mounted scaffolding holding up the majority of the arena seating. It is also at this level that we find the four upper stages, one at the top of each stairway and the passages which link them together. I always thought that charpente had to be wood, but no, charpente in French is actually framework and is used to describe that which supports roofs, but also other types of construction. In this case, it is totally in metal, rusty for the most part. The model is partially in metal, partially in wood. All of it is sprayed with texturized rust color. Under the stairway, the down ramp has enclosing sides for security so that no one falls off and being light absorbing black on the inside surface. Now here comes the two section stairway. It has been pre-assembled and is now fitted with steps and painted. The main pivots holding the full stairway and the pivots between sections are critical elements for ensuring stability by avoiding sideways movement. True in reality, true for the model as well. The counterweights are heavy metal clad blocks in reality. On the model they are built as a sandwich of multiple steel plates. These serve to ease the load on the pneumatic pistons, on the real version, and on both real and model they serve to counteract forces which otherwise tend to lift the back supports. We model just a sample of the upper stage to aid in integration with real photography.
So to recap, we have two parts of the raising stairway. The top and bottom can raise up together, and when they do so, they raise to this height. The raising method of the original is by amazingly slender but clearly powerful pneumatic pistons. Note there are no performers on these raised stairs. Choirs, performers are on here only when the stairs are in the down position. Now let's see how the fixed stairs are fitted into the model. In reality, these sections are supported by scaffolding, lots of it, in the same way that the arena seats are supported. While for the model, we gave them a wooden frame that makes them very stable and easy to assemble and disassemble for side filming, and to allow clean access to the space beneath. There are vertical and horizontal adjustments at the front and at the rear.